Just keep it simple. A simple life is a beautiful life. Good morning. Welcome to Just Keep It Simple. Today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to all my fans and all my subscribers. That is why I'm doing a video today. Uh, if you are celebrating your Valentine's Day with your other half, that would be great. And uh, if you're celebrating uh, with your parents and your grandpa and grandma, that would be awesome. Right? So don't forget Valentine's Day It's also about those around you that you love Don't forget them uh, A lot of people have prompted this question to me How can succulent survive in hydrophonic? Uh, just in water uh, That is really really a good question I ponder about that too Prior to me uh, trying it out And uh, it took a while for me to understand that hydrophonic is an awesome way of planting succulent especially for beginners uh, many uh, that are planting succulents have problems about watering root rot and all that so why that happens when you plant in soil and you, when you water them obviously the soil will become wet and the uh, anaerobic conditions that is present in the wet soil will promote uh, pathogens and fungal growth and that is why you get root rot for your succulent and because of that uh, those are the bacteria and the fungus that are responsible yeah, for your uh, root rot and not just the water alone that actually kills our succulent when you plant it in the soil so when you plant it in hydrophonic it's mainly water right it's mainly water and how can they survive they can survive because there is no soil that creates the fungal infection and uh, the bacterial pathogens that uh, happens when you water them yeah uh, I, I don't know whether you realize every time after you water your plants whether it's succulent or any other plants you you see fruit flies flying around that particular area and those are the things that tells you you know there is a wetness in the soil and fruit fly likes that sourish uh, kind of smell and, and they go around plants so therefore hydrophonic can be your answer if you're looking at planting succulents and you get very confused with which soil to buy who should i buy it from how do i use it when do i water it you know that kind of thing so the only thing you need to focus when you plant hydrophonic is you know having the change of water regularly because they need fresh water yeah that's the only thing that you need to do so uh, change your water weekly yeah and on top of that make sure you add in nutrients yeah you add in nutrients into your soil because they're not getting any nutrients from uh, the soil particles that you're providing because soil uh, have nutrients yeah the soil that you mix have nutrients in it the fertilizer that you add in has nutrients in it but in the water that you use uh, and again I like to stress that you use filtered water means you're drinking water yeah not the water directly from the pipe which have very high chlorine uh, in it um, so what you do is uh, you add in nutrients like HB 101 yeah uh, one drop to one liter of water or one drop to 1.5 liter of water or you can have more than one drop then pour it into a glass yeah any glass that you have at home uh, I have this glass and I have a glass that I don't really really use so I find the right size for the glass that can hold the succulent and you plant it in uh, for those to, that did not see my hydrophonic uh, uh, video first thing first is when you plant it in before they root you gotta make sure that the water level and the root does not touch just barely you know apart like that 
yeah then as soon as the root grow into the water then that's the growing sign that is good for you and good for your plant too um, so basically this has no roots back then yeah there's no roots and you now you can see how vigorously the roots are growing yeah and comparing to uh, soil planting that you can't see uh, this is why I like about hydrophonic is because um, I, I get to see all the roots growth yeah but to keep them healthy is uh, not a lot of work just making sure you put in the nutrients using filtered water that you drink yeah if you have uh, store up some rainwater that would be great too so this is what you do change the water weekly put it in find the right size glass and put it in so i've shown you this is one of it yeah this is one of it this is very nice this is very nice this is lila china this is lila china here here you go see how beautiful it grow that's nice and you can put this in the office you can put this in the office so long you get a good windowsill uh, lighting yeah they need they need lighting all right so don't forget after doing this they need good sunlight they need good sunlight uh, certain succulents uh, I'll be very honest with you certain succulents cannot go direct sunlight uh, they need uh, filtered sunlight like shaded sunlight you can put under your tree and all that yeah so especially when you put outdoor for hydrophonic yeah outdoor for hydrophonic you definitely need to change the water weekly to prevent uh, mosquito breeding yeah mosquito breeding uh, some people will add in fungi like those especially that plant outside uh, the house for a uh, hydrophonic kind of version this dry leaf all you need to do is clear the dry leaf see this this too has grown so much roots yeah unbelievable yeah this is nixana nixana is a very very wonderful and beautiful succulent to have and uh, even hydrophonic i can still get new growth new pups at the bottom so just put it in it looks wonderful looks wonderful you'll be surprised uh, your guests will come to your home and say oh my god you're planting succulent in water it will be unbelievable but i believe this would be a great trend and people will start moving towards hydrophonic so uh, first thing first just buy your succulent uh, uh, that has been planted in soil you can do that uh, in hydrophonic style so you don't have to worry they've been staying in soil are they able to adapt to hydrophonic yes they are able to adapt to hydrophonic another one here uh, I'm not sure if you can see the roots this is how it is this is another part of the roots okay so pluck away the dry leaves me get a tweezer so while I'm doing the video uh, those who are new to me I do my most of my YouTube's outdoor therefore you hear cars passing by birds chipping dogs barking motorbikes passing by to yeah that's 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 the maintenance that you need to do change water daily remove dry petals and that's it yeah uh, off and on if you feel that the roots are getting too long yeah just trim it away yeah just trim it away right now i'm going to trim this away sorry my my disposable cup is over there so just trim it away and put it back in the water yeah put it back in the water um, another question would be when I get a succulent and I want to do hydrophonic 
uh, I need to trim the roots. Yes, you need to trim the roots just like how you trim when you plant in the soil. Yeah, trim the roots, uh, let it colors. Yeah, let it colors. Even in uh, hydroponic, you can see some of the leaves uh, dry. It's okay, no issues. They have full, full and lots, lots of water in each petals. Just put it in again, then it will plumb up for you. There are also uh, a lot of challenges when you want to plant your simple vivums. Yeah, simple vivum. Uh, so I've uh, did an experiment on simple vivum. Uh, they do grow well on hydroponic too. So let me see. I have one simple vivum here. Yeah, this this was <laughs> one thing about simple vivum when they grow babies at the side, it gets. Uh, broken off from the mother plant very easily so this is a sample vivum yeah this is a sample vivum and oh, carefully i want to show you the roots yeah this is the root growth so if you have sample vivum and you find a lot of people saying uh sample vivum is so easy to plant you know especially overseas where they have those beautiful fall weathers going through. Simple Vivum is just planted at the roadside, at the pavement, yeah, at the walkway. But uh, in Malaysia, uh, kind of challenging because our weather is so humid and at the same time, uh, it's so hot. Yeah. So sometimes uh, the challenges of Simple Vivum uh, uh, planting is there. So therefore, um, I've did an experiment here and it's growing really, really well in uh, hydroponic. Uh, so this would be another bonus uh, for you if you want to plant uh, Simple Vivum and you want to continue to plant Simple Vivum uh, but you are too afraid to plant it in the soil, you can do hydroponic as well, yeah, do hydroponic. So here you go. Uh, happy planting to all of you. Happy Valentine's Day again. Uh, hope you have a wonderful day at the office and you will have an even wonderful day at night with your beloved one. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel so I can bring you more videos. Uh, and uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any question, feel free to drop me a message and I will definitely get back to you uh, when I can. Have a good day.